everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews! So today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Power of the Primes, the Lux Class, Terracon Blot! So, let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure. So let's get it on, man, let's go! And here is Blot fully transformed into his, um, troll mode, I guess? Monster mode? Beast mode? Ah, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really cool, uh, cool looking troll mode. You can see the head sculpt right there. See the mouth, you know. It, it can't really open his mouth, you know, you can't really do that. Um, we got red for the eyes. Got some nice sewer paint, a lot of sewer paint. Got some red right here. Got some more yellows as well. You can see on the top there, you got the uh, the foe revealed the shield Decepticon logo right there. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. And yeah, you got the Titan Master peg right here, so you can actually pl plug in a Titan Master right there, and you can see the robot mode head is just hanging out. <laughs> so, there we go. Fortunately, he doesn't want to sit flush inside the beast head. He doesn't want to sit flush. Unfortunately, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, that's much better. Nope, doesn't want to sit flush. Anyway, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's a really cool uh, cool uh, beast mode, troll mode, monster mode, whatever you want to call it. Got the uh, dark, uh, dark purplish, dark bluish paint right here on the toes right there. And uh, now this is actually painted plastic, which is really nice. I do, I do quite like that. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, really nice. Really nicely done. Actually, this whole foot is done in a uh, dark bluish plastic, but this foot section right here is painted in purple. So, yeah, I, I got missed. I got uh, <laughs> I got mixed up right there. Sorry, <laughs> I messed up right there. <laughs> I got confused on which which one is uh, which color is the painted plastic or which one is the plastic color. I, I got confused. Anyway, but yeah, because the, the the camera, you know, because these two purples, they kind of match well enough, so it, it, it makes you get confused. And he, he does have some nice, that, that nice metal flake finish for the plastic. Really, really cool. I do quite like that. Really nice. Um, but yeah, uh, he has a big, huge backpack. <laughs> so yeah, I got some big claws. You can see that these two claws are done in a nice uh, light purplish, indigo-ish uh, paint right there, which is really nice. Now, uh, articulation in this mode, uh, you do have a ball joint right here at the shoulder, you can rotate a full 360, you can move in and out, you do have ball joints at the elbow, you can do rotation, and you know, it has a 90 degree, uh, um, slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, and, um, and, uh, yeah, and, and you can actually move, uh, move these, uh, the thumb claw. I guess you can move that if you want to, but that's due to, that's due to transformation. And you do have a, uh, a swivel right here. Uh, it's on the ball joint. I don't think it's on the ball joint. No, it's on the swivel. So it's on the swivel. It can actually uh, rotate around like so. A you can rotate to the back like that. You know, rotate to the front like that. You know, and it can actually uh, do the full splits on a ratchet, which is really really nice. And uh, yeah, you can actually move the claws forward like that on or move it backwards like that you know to uh, the, um, um, you know on, the, on this ratchet hinge and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, articulation in this mode now he does include a couple of accessories and he comes with his natural gun so yeah really nicely done uh, gun right here which is pretty cool now you do have a post right there so this plugs in to that port to the side for storage and there you have the storage for your gun. And he also includes the Prime Armor, which is done in a nice dark bluish plastic. And you got this uh, purple uh, thing right here, which can be removable and you be handheld, uh, you know, can hold it as a handheld gun so if you want it to. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so now storage for the, uh, the Prime Armor. You just bring down the peg just like so. And there is a port right in there. So just plug this in just like so and there you have the storage for your prime armor and not bad storage I will say it gives him extra spikes on his back <laughs> so yeah not a bad way to store the prime armor pretty cool pretty cool in my opinion so I'm gonna take these uh, take this off and now I'm going to move on to some size comparisons here is blot compared with Earthrise deluxe class Alakon uh, with the little Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Legion class 
lights or lots, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so you can see how the two uh, troll looking beasts look together. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, this, well, this is the Legion class, this is the Deluxe class, of course this guy has to be bigger than this, so yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the final size comparison. And last but not least, here is Blot compared with his teammate, Ripper Snapper. And um, I totally forgot to mention that Blot is indeed a heavy, heavy retool of the Power of the Primes Deluxe class, Ripper Snapper. And you don't see a lot of shared parts in this mode. Yeah, you, you, you can't. You, you really can't. <laughs> Man, they look so distinct. And you, you, yeah, you can't even see any shared parts. Um, probably you can see some shared parts in robot mode, but other than that, in beast mode, you, you can't even see any shared parts. Like, they don't even share any parts <laughs> in beast mode. So yeah, it's pretty nicely done. I, I, I do quite like the heavy remolds. And when they do the heavy remolds, I think they did a great job. With these, with this figure, because you know, yeah, that I think Hasbro is, is is they did a well done job with the heavy remolds. I, I do quite like that. I like that very very much. So so yeah. So that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. And uh, oh my goodness, just like Ripper Snapper, I forgot about this important thing that you know that, that was included in the package when you when you get this figure. I forgot about. The collector's card. How? How? How does one forget about the collector's card? How? How? Anyway, let's get any closer. Let's go and take a look at the card right there. Nice artwork there. Nice, beautiful artwork there for Blot in his monster mode. Pretty cool. Hey, whoa! I dropped the card. His name is Terracon Blot. Power the Primes logo. Got the Prime symbol right there. And on the back here it says Amalgamous Blot. Converts to amorphous met metallic ooze. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the collector's card. How did I forget this anyway? <laughs> you know, I'm human. Sometimes I forget things. You know, I'm getting old. So, eh, eh, anyway. So, <laughs> let us transform Blot into his leg mode. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take this, uh, this, the foot section right here and just bring all this up and that will tab in to place. There we go. And just bring all this up just like so and tab into place. There we go. And just untab all this, unfold all the legs section right here. And there you have that. So now you want to take this section right here, just flip this out just like so. And there are, got two ports, I'm not sure you can see it, but there are two ports right here that will peg into these two posts right there. So just, just line all this up and I'll just peg in just like that. I'm gonna take the uh, combiner peg, got a combiner peg, and just flip this around and there we go. So now you wanna take this, just rotate this off to the side and just bring all this up. And that will ta actually that will tab in into place just like so. And there we go. Just rotate this around the ball joint and just bring all this up and just bring this down and that will tab into place. And there we go. So now take um, the leg section right here, just open all this up, open all that up, actually bring all this up like so, and just collapse all this in. All this in there we go, and I think am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? I don't I don't know if I'm doing this right. Wait, I think it's supposed to rotate the waist 180 like so. And now you can take this and just collapse all this in. There we go. Collapse all this in. Just tap it into place. Collapse all that in. Not sure if this is right. Wait, hold on. There we go. And make sure that's all tabbed in. And I think so. So there it goes. So now I take uh, this section right here. There is a peg, little peg right there that goes that goes into that port right in there. So just plug this in, plug this in, 
There we go. Let's plug this in. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we are done. So there you have uh, Blots fully transformed into his leg mode. I'd rather just put this down like so. There we go. So yeah, there we have Blots in his leg mode. Sure. And of course, the feet are going to come with the Voyager. So as of now, I haven't reviewed on Hunger yet, so I can't bring in the feet yet. So yeah. But yeah, it's it's um it's a leg. It's it's a leg. Anyway, <laughs> let us move on to arm mode. So just take this. Let's open all this up. Open all that up. I said open all that up. Doesn't want to open up. Doesn't want to open up. Seriously? Doesn't want to open up. Really? Really? Doesn't want to open up. There you go. Just split the leg first. Doesn't want to open up. Doesn't want to open up. There we go. And just extend this section right here. Extend all this. And just close all this up. Close all this up. There we go. And just bring the legs together. Just make sure to tab in together. Focus camera. Focus. There we go. And make sure that they're tabbed in together. There we go. There we go. Make sure they're tabbed together. And make sure this is plugged in just like so. Make sure this stays pegged in. And just bring down the combiner peg. Just like so. And just rotate this around just like that. And now we're gonna take the prime armor and turn it into a hand. So now just bring up the peg and flip out the fingers and just do whatever you want with the thumbs. For me, I just rotate this up, you know, so I can actually hide the other thumb like that. So I'll just take this and just plug this to the ports. And there it goes. So they have lots fully transformed into his arm mode. So it's a nice, it's a nice, de de decent arm mode, I will say. It's a nicely done arm mode. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, um, so yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the combined modes. And now, let us move on to the robot mode. So just take off the hand like that. And just rotate the waist uh, forward and split the legs. And there you have the legs all done and ready. So now just bring down the combiner peg and you're already there. Um, so, so we're in the home stretch right here. So just take the arms and just rotate them forward. Just like so, you want to take the claw, the, the middle claw right here, and just flip this around, and there you have that. It's it's very simple, but it's very effective. I do like that little piece of transformation, that little trick right there. I do quite like that. So just rotate this around, and just flip out the fist, and there we go. You can see his Wolverine claws. <laughs> so there you have that, and now, now. There's another thing you can do with the backpack. So you're supposed to unpeg this first. And you can see, not only if you have the front ports, you do have like uh, the back ports right here. So now for robot mode, you're supposed to use those back ports. So make sure that they're all lined up properly. Make sure they're all lined up properly. There we go, just peg all this in. Peg all that in and just bring this down. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we are done. So there you have Lots fully transformed into his robots mode. And he looks magnificent in my opinion. I do quite like the design of this robot. Yeah, I do quite like it. Yeah, really, really well done. I do quite like this figure. So let's get in close here. Let's take a look at that head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. I, ni I like the uh, the red visor right there. Nice over for the face. Kind of like he kind of looks like he has the frown. <laughs> he has the 100% frown. Oh, oh, so sad, so sad. Anyway, so nice silver and yellow paint for the chest section right here. Got the gun symbol on the chest as well. And, um, but yeah, nicely done robot mode. You got some nice silver paint right here on the knees and a little bit of light blue paint right there as well. So yeah, overall, it's a nicely done figure in my opinion. And um, he's right there with Ripper Snapper. You know, it's, it's, I think this figure is definitely one of the best uh, Power to Primes figures. I do quite like this guy, so pretty cool. So yeah, really nicely done. Yeah, yes, he does have a huge backpack, but 
I don't display my figures facing the wall, so I don't really care what the backpack looks like. So, now, his articulation, pretty simple. You do have a ball joint at the head. It's kind of tight, so I can't really rotate it. You can rotate a full 360. Um, he can't really look up, can't really look down. Um, of course, same articulation, you know, as in the beast mode for the arm, so I'm not going to go through it. Um, um, I'm not, I'm not going to go through the articulation that much because it's basically the same thing. Now, he does have a waist swivel, which is really, really nice. And legs are on the ball joint, can move up that far, can move back. Only that, uh, very, very far indeed. So, yeah. And you can't really do the full splits because, you know, the leg, that's how far the legs can actually move out. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel, which is really nice. He does have a knee joint, like 90 degrees of band. And that is pretty much it. So, yeah, no ankle tilts for this figure. But, hey, I can forgive it. I can forgive it. You know, I don't really need ankle tilts. He can still pose him really, really nicely. So, yeah. Now, he can hold his weapon. So, he can hold his gun right here just take this look into his hand and there we go he's holding his gun which is really really nice um, I haven't tried if you can actually plug in some effect parts on this figure I, I'm not sure you can plug in effect parts in the barrel of the gun I'm, I'm not sure I haven't tried but yeah, I don't think so um, it's not compatible that way um, uh, you can actually give him the prime armor on, uh, to plug it on his chest so to plug it on his chest you know, fingers there we go bring this down just like so and just flip down this panel right here to reveal the port and just plug this in to that port and just flip the fingers like that and the, yeah I don't like that at all no it's it's <laughs> it's 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 a big gigantic block on the chest and yeah it does it does not work um, you can actually um, have him holding this you know as a, a handheld weapon I guess can plug into his hand like like that if you want to but I don't really like that I know I don't like that uh, can this store on the back uh, apparently not no no it can't even store at the back why can't it why can't it even store in the back really why 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 can't it anyway so but yeah I don't intend to uh, display these guys in robot modes you know I, I intend to display these guys in their combined modes when they're fully combined into Obamanus but you know yeah I mean we, we'll get to see we get to see the robot mode uh, you know this this time you know for the review but anyway so let us get down to some size comparisons here is Blot compared with Earthrise Deluxe Class Quintesson Alakon. With the little tiny Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Legion Class Blight. Oh, that is just precious. It's just a little baby with his papa. Oh, that is so cute. That is so adorable. <laughs> anyway, so let's move on to the final size comparison for the day. And speaking of which, here is Blot compared with his teammate slash mold mate. Ripper Snapper, and as you can see, they do share the crotch, they share the hips, they share the thighs, they share the knees right there, the knee joints. Um, other than that, I don't see anything else that they share. Oh, they share the uh, the, the combiner peg and this this little piece that actually flips down, you know, for the uh, the prime armor. Um, other than that, I don't see anything else that they share. Um, yeah, they they the minimal, very minimal that they share. <laughs> But yeah, I like the extensive remolding that they did to this mold to, to make blot come out of it. So that is pretty cool. I do quite like that. And I believe Hasbro did a great job with this and I, I, I absolutely appreciate that. So um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class. Terracon Blot, and uh, yeah, really nice figure in my opinion. Uh, the robot mode looks great. Uh, the beast mode looks really, really good. And um, yeah, uh, articulation in both modes. Uh, I mean, the beast mode articulation is not that bad, but you could have used more articulation here and there. Uh, robot mode articulation is pretty good as well. Um, just minus the ankle tilts, but I can forgive it, you know. Yeah, but still, it's a really nicely done figure all around. Very fun to mess with, and um, yeah, pretty pretty cool in my opinion. And uh, we yeah, we are um, three more steps away to uh, to finish off this set and combine them to form Abominus. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, 
So if I were to rank uh, Terracon Blot from a scale of 1 to 10, um, I think I would just give him a good mm, 9 out of 10. Well, he's not perfect, you know, I mean, he definitely needed the ankle tilt, but it is what it is. So 9 out of 10, really well done figure in my opinion, so yeah. And I think that's pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you know when my new videos are up and ready. And um, if you have enjoyed this video review, you can always uh, do me a favor and slam dunk that like button. Hey, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, you can always check out my Transformers Power of the Primes reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed. So I'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below. And of course, you can always check out your um, online stores like BigBadToyStore.com for any availability. So I'll post a link to their website in the description down below as well. So I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So there you have the Transformers Power of the Primes, Deluxe Class, Terracon Blot, and this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out.